Doctor, we have a couple of young unmarried people who are waiting to talk to you. Uh, they're Nan Peterson and Salvatore Consolo. So folks, you come in please and meet Groucho Marx. Welcome, welcome to Siberia. I mean, to bet your life. Say it. <laughs> Show's over. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. <laughs> we'll see you again some other time. <laughs> no dice. I tried all my charms. It was hopeless. <laughs> say that you say the secret word and you'll divide an extra hundred dollars. It's a common word, something you see every day. Nan Patterson, man. That was a Peterson. famous murderer, uh, murderess years ago. Nan Peterson. Peterson. Oh, you're a, a lovely name for a lovely... Are you Swedish or Norwegian? Well, Peterson is a Norwegian name, Groucho. Yeah. Actually, I'm Norwegian on my father's side, English, German, and Scotch-Irish on my mother's. Oh, well, you're usually on your father's side? Uh, what's that? Smorgasbord. You're a smorgasbord? Mm -hmm. That's a Scandinavian dish, isn't it? A That's smorgasbord? Right. Well, you certainly are a smorgasbord. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Consolo, uh, that's you? Yes, sir, Groucho. Uh, have you ever tried smorgasbord? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> well, take a look. <laughs> Nan, tell them what it is, huh? Explain well, it to them. Well, in a smorgasbord, you have lots of things. You have lasta, lutefis, rosette, meatballs. <laughs> meatballs, I know. <laughs> <laughs> now then, you say your name is uh, uh, Salvatore Consolo? Yes, Groucho. Uh, Consolo, my, my, huh? my real name is Salvatore. Some people call me Sammy, but and, but my profession, professional name is Sonny. Sonny? Yes, sir. No. You have a professional name? You mean you're an actor? Uh, no, Doesn't I'm... anybody work anymore? <laughs> <laughs> so where are you working now? Is you at MGM or Warner Brothers? No, Groucho, I'm a clerk at the North Hollywood Post Office. <laughs> so why do you need a professional name to work in the post office? Is that the stamp of success? <laughs> Well, uh, what do you do? Uh, I'm, also, I'm, also, success? I'm also a singer. Oh, you're a singer? Right. Yes, sir. Well, that's the worst news I've heard since postage went up to four cents. <laughs> Your name, Consolo, uh, kind of rings a bell. Sammy, haven't I heard it someplace before? Well, yes, Groucho. I, my mother, Bettina Consolo, was on your show two years ago for three weeks. Oh. Now I remember. I remember your mother very well, Sammy. And I want to make a correction. She wasn't on my show for three weeks. I was on her show for three weeks. <laughs> you know, I spent three weeks trying to get a husband for her. Did she ever hook anybody eventually? No, but she's gotten telegrams and, and letters from all over the United States. Mm -hmm. Collect all that, huh? <laughs> no, they won't collect. Where are you from, uh, Nan? Well, I'm from Minneapolis, but I really consider Mitchell, South Dakota my home. You do, huh? Mm -hmm. Are you married, Nan? No, I'm not. Well, let's go, then. What are we hanging around? <laughs> You married a beautiful girl. What a waste of natural resources. <laughs> why, I'd aren't rather, you, why aren't you married? I'd rather concentrate on my career for a while. What, well, what do you want to do now? What kind of a career? Well, I've, uh, I've bus studied driver? for this. No, yeah. I'm an actress. I imagine you've been in a lot of beauty contests, mm -hmm. huh? I've been in about 14. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. I think they're rather ridiculous. I don't think a girl has to um, have her success depend on wearing a bathing suit. Well, that's, that's true. Mm -hmm. You try not wearing one and see what happens. <laughs> Sam, you know that Nan isn't married. Maybe we can do some business. What kind of a girl would you like to marry? Well, I think black hair goes well with blonde. You mean you want her to change her hair to black? No, she is a blonde. Oh. Well, Nan is a blonde. What else do you expect, Sammy? Well, I expect, the girl to be, I expect a girl to be uh, intelligent and, above all, uh, simple and sincere. You want her to be simple and sincere? Yes, sir. <laughs> Nan, will you marry Sammy right now? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Sammy, obviously... I want to be simple. Oh. <laughs> She's sincere, but she's not that simple. Well, I tried, but I failed. For some reason, I just can't seem to get a consoler married. However, when you go home, I, I want you to give my best regards to your mother. I shall. You can be mighty proud of her, Sammy. Thank you very much. And ask her to send me some more pizza pies. Huh? I shall. Just send me four. I want to replace my stolen hubcap. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can manage it. Well, you're both charming youngsters, and I'm sure neither one of you is going to have any trouble getting ahead in the world. Now, let's play your bet your life and see uh, how you make out in the quiz. 
You selected hit songs of the 30s. You're not that old, man, are you? I know. Now, Jack Megan is going to play some tunes, and you name them. If you miss two in a row, you're out. If you get four in a row right, you win $1,000. Now, identify this one. Play it, Jack. <laughs> Time on my hands. Time on my hands is right. You have one right now. Now, uh, what is the name of this one? As time goes by. As time goes by, time on my hands, that's right. You now have two rights. Now, see if you can remember this one. It's, um... Yeah, but it's got a word first in front of it. I did. What is it? Mexican can-can? Um, Mexican can-can, huh? -can, <laughs> Where have you been, man? It's having a heat wave by Ivan Berlin. Well, you have one wrong now. Don't get the next one wrong and the game is over for All you. right. What is the name of this big hit? You're older than you look, man. <laughs> How about this one? Oh, that was a big, um, big hit. How did you show it? <laughs> uh, well, it's too late. It's well, you're my everything. Every, everything, yes. You're my everything. Well, you're back to one wrong now. Uh... Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go to the next one now. Yeah. Are you driving crazy? No, 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 no. That, that, that may be true, but that's not the name of the song. I have, I... No, no, we'll give you a little more of that. Give, give him another half an inch. What is it? Can't you play it again? <laughs> I know the last thing they was They can play title. it again, but the jig is up. It's biding my time. And it is George up. and Ira Gershwin. You got two in a row wrong. Oh, that's a Was shame. it two in a row? Yeah. Yes, it was, Sam. Well, I'm sorry you missed okay, two in George. a row. <laughs> However, we don't want you to go home broke, so I'm going to ask you one more question for $100. What great American do we honor on Washington's birthday? <laughs> you tell him, you Stephen Douglas. That's right. I'm sorry you didn't win more, but thanks anyway Thank for being you. with us. You bet your life you were very decorative. Thank you. And so were you, sir. Nancy Moss and Carl Eddington are waiting to talk to you, Groucho. So, folks, come in, please, and meet Groucho Marx. Well, welcome to your bet your life. Say the secret word and divide an extra $100. It's a common word, something you'll find around the house. <laughs> Nancy Morris and Carl Eddington, eh? Nancy, uh, first I'll ask you uh, how old you are. Nineteen. Nineteen. Next, I'll ask if you are married. No. No. Now, where are you from, Nancy? Originally, I'm from Wauwatosa. Oh, are you? <laughs> now, where is that? I thought you'd know. That's Wisconsin. How would I know that? Well, everyone knows that. Everybody? What's the name of the place? Wauwatosa. I'd like you people to raise your hands out here. How many people have ever heard of this town? Thank you. Well, there you are. There isn't a soul in the audience. There's one woman up there. Would you mind getting up and spelling this? <laughs> the woman who raised her hand. I'd be interested in hearing you spell this name. W-A-U-W-A-T-O-S-A. Uh, that's right. Is that your husband? No, that's my father. <laughs> Well, thanks for the warning. <laughs> well, do you still live in, uh, in Misa Machina or whatever the name is? 
<laughs> no, we left there when I was quite young. We moved Why, couldn't you spell it? <laughs> you don't live in Wisconsin now, huh? No. And where do you live? Well, I live in California now, but we moved to Las Vegas before we came out to California. Is that customary? <laughs> you, you went to L.A. after you lived in Las Vegas, huh? Well, after yeah. being in Vegas, how did you get enough money to get to Los Angeles? <laughs> did you, oh, you had a job in Las Vegas? Well, I did modeling and I did our weather forecast on TV. Oh, weather reports in Las Vegas. Must be very interesting. <laughs> I can just hear them on the radio. Six to five, it rains by noon. <laughs> the dice are going to be hot tonight at eight o'clock. <laughs> now, who are you? Carl Eddington, uh, brought you. Carl Eddington? And where are you from? Originally, Salt Lake City. Mm -hmm. What sort of work do you do, Carl? I'm a swimming instructor, Groucho. Did you bring any water with you? No, I uh, just... what it's left of me. Oh. Uh, In other words, you're a wetback, is that it? <laughs> <laughs> No, I came this way. Do you, do you have your own uh, swimming school? No, I don't. I uh, have the Kenwood Park Pool, which is a community pool for the homeowners at Gibraltar Homes in East Anaheim. And it's proven to be a very wonderful thing for the children because they don't get out on the streets. They are all becoming water babies, so to speak. Water log? And that too, yeah. Now what is the first thing you teach them? How to well, pay for the lessons? <laughs> That's a thought. It may sound funny, but uh, the first thing I... It doesn't I... sound funny at all. It sounds very dreary. I teach them how to drown. You teach them how to drown? You must have quite a turnover among your students. <laughs> I presume you collect for your lessons in advance. Yeah, you bet. I'm sure you must have an explanation for this, Carl, because uh, I'm in over my head already. Now, would you mind explaining this? You teach them how to drown? I'll be glad to. Uh, I... You see, Groucho, when a person is drowning, they are trying to get above their specific gravity. And the motions they're making to go up actually send them down. Mm. The person is uh, relaxing enough to try to drown, they will actually swim. You follow me, of course. Uh, I mean, is that clear? What happens if a student flunks your course? Do you make him stay there until you have a chance to drain the tank? <laughs> I've never had anybody flunk yet. Now, Carl, I forgot to ask you, are you married? Unfortunately, no, uh, Groucho. Well, why not? A strapping young fellow like you? Or are you just strapped? You might say that, too, but uh, I've spent so much time teaching over the years and uh, pursuing my hobbies, why, uh, I haven't found time to get married. Well, don't you consider the female a hobby? What, yes, what are that's some a, of your hobbies? That's, that's one hobby, but uh, the one that I have uh, pursued more than anything, I might say, is uh, the field of magic, sleight of hand, and uh, escapes. Escapes? Uh, well, no wonder you're not married, huh? <laughs> yeah. You say you're an escape artist? Could you do one of those things for us now? Well, sure. Be glad to. Could you? Well, what would you need? I mean, how long does it take? Oh, about 30 seconds. And I'm glad you asked, because I just happened to bring a 150 feet of rope with me. <laughs> Is this uh, standard equipment? You always carry this around with you? In case well, I, uh, somebody uh, asks in you? case uh, somebody asks me, yeah, you That's almost have to. You've got to be ready. Well, George, uh, George Fenneman, could you get Mr. Eddington's rope? Uh, and if you can't find it, just cut down one of our losing contestants from last week <laughs> and bring that in. Now, Nancy, while, while we're waiting, what, what do you think of Carl? He's I... single and you're single, and he's got a lot of rope. <laughs> now, George, George is going to tie you up, and we'll see if you can escape. Is that fair? Yeah, Have I, you ever done anything like this before? No, this is, uh, well, perhaps I can help him. Uh, You've got yeah. any ideas? And nasty I things. have some ideas, but it doesn't concern no. you or the rope. <laughs> <laughs> any ideas I have, I can find an answer. Find my hand. <laughs> How you doing, George? I have no idea. He's told me to take half pitches. I don't know what a half pitch is. Uh, <laughs> Try not. That's not a full itch. Uh, how about, why don't you help, uh, Groucho? Uh, why should I? I'm making a play for Nancy here. <laughs> I've seen a woman put a man into a knot he couldn't get out of for the rest of his life. How's this? <laughs> yeah, any, any which way, I, I don't ask She's too much. Yeah. Is there a sailor in the audience? <laughs> you do a half hitch. Come on, if somebody has been in the Navy, come up here and tie this fellow up. This guy's doing all right there. Oh, oh no, 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 no. no. 
Bring up an expert. Well, come on up there, both of you. Huh? Yep. The audience ever seen these chaps before? We don't want to. We don't want to do any crooked work here. You know. Uh, okay. <laughs> There's more going on out here than there was back there. <laughs> He's going to have to have his pants pressed after this, too. <laughs> He's going to be so dizzy he won't be able to extricate himself, anyway. <laughs> well, I'd say this is a fairly good job. I mean, these fellas didn't fool around. Just give them a hand. I can't. <laughs> Now he's got two hours to get out of this. <laughs> All right, ready, go to... Go Wait to 30 work. seconds, you want to count it? Uh, yeah, okay. Get on your mark, get set. Count the seconds. Go. Count them up loud. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Oh, those new modern dances are wonderful. Twelve, fifteen, sixteen, Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Go ahead, count. Eight, thirty-one. That was pretty good, I think, don't you think? It looks pretty easy. Would you mind? I could like to try that, too. Not with those fellas, though, out front. I'd like Nancy to tie me up. With somebody friendly like, like Fenneman or something. Why don't you come out here, right, George, and tie me up, huh? You keep out of this. <laughs> huh? That's what I want, a little rope. Use all the rope you can find. If a man's going to get tied up, he might as well get tied up with something interesting. Come here, Nancy. <laughs> <laughs> Together? Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, take an end or something. There we go. Uh, here, uh, I'll go this way. <laughs> Let me do that, Carol. That's fine. That's the way to live. <laughs> and then what do you do? Just go around this way? You know, wind them around. Remember that old song? The last I meet you face to face. <laughs> Now, don't overdo it, boys. Remember, this isn't my racket. This is, sort of, this is sort of fun at that. Yeah, this is fun. Finally getting even, huh, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The snake strikes back, it's called. <laughs> now, do I get to tie this one? Yeah. <laughs> there. Me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have news for you. I have no desire to get out of here. The quiz? <laughs> Forget the quiz. <laughs> They're all crooked anyhow, those quizzes. <laughs> well, we can't fool around all night. I suppose we have to go through with the quiz. George, uh, bring me the quiz questions, would you? Uh, and if anyone want... phones me, tell them I'm all tied up. <laughs> uh, George, give me the quiz. Well, no, you better come over here. Uh... Nancy, can you walk? Yeah. So that... <laughs> This is going to be fun later when we go home. Huh? <laughs> All right, are you ready? You selected literature. I'm going to ask you some questions. If you miss two in a row, you're out. If you get four in a row right, you win $1,000. You miss me, honey? <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready, are you? Uriah Heep was one of Dickens' more detestable villains. In what story do you find him? Well, I'd have to make a guess at that. Well, you have Nancy's help here. She used to be in the weather department in Vegas. <laughs> there were a lot of games. Uh, you can hold it. Huh? Yeah, I can hold this. 
Well, come on, take a guess if you don't Christmas know. Christmas Carol? No, it was David Copperfield. David Copperfield. Well, that's that's one one wrong. Yes, I'm going to keep score here. Uh, one wrong, don't get uh, another one wrong, you're out of the game. Running, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go around once, huh, Nancy? <laughs> uh, the author of The Last of the Mohicans was the first American to achieve uh, worldwide fame outside the United States. Who was he? Fenimore Cooper James. Fenimore yeah. Cooper James. Is right. You now have one right. Yes. Now, who wrote uh, Writers of the Purple Sage and other popular Western stories? Zane Gray. That's right. You now have two right. Now, who collaborated with Charles MacArthur on such plays as The Front Page and 20th Century? John Hex. Ben Heck. One more right, hey, you'll have a thousand dollars. Well, I know it's a joke. Now, uh, Dostoevsky's most famous novel concerned the doings of three brothers. What's the name of this book? The Brothers K. <laughs> That's right, by Marilyn Monroe. That's right. And now uh, they have four rights. And they win themselves one thousand dollars. Oh, we might have. <laughs> Here, but... Well, say, that's pretty good. You know, knowing all those literary answers as well as in the rope business? Oh, I smoke them, but I, I'm... <laughs> Nancy, I want to apologize for the putting you... Friendship. Close friendship, yes. <laughs> now, you've won a thousand dollars. Now, you can keep it and quit, or else you can come back later and try to double your money. You may even get a crack at five or even ten thousand dollars. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Roger. Thank you. Groucho, um, here are Nancy Moss and Carl Eddington to give you their decision. Would you, uh... Well, you've won $1,000 so far. If you decide to try for the big money and you fail, you wind up with a total of 500 What are you going to do? Try for the big money, uh, Groucho. Is that your, uh, yeah. decision, too? You pick a number for $10,000. Four. Four. And, uh, you pick a number for $5,000. Seven, uh, Groucho. Seven. Now, if neither of those numbers comes up, the question is worth $2,000. So uh, give the wheel a spin and uh, good luck. Turn it, uh, Nancy. Uh -huh. give it, swing it hard. hard. The eighth man ever to make over 3,000 hits in the major leagues is the first baseman for the St. Louis Cardinals. For $5,000, who is this famous ball player? And you don't have to be a baseball fan who will play it about him. Now talk it over. Lou Gehrig. Very easy. Can you repeat the question? I'll repeat it. Can you repeat the question? Eighth man ever to make over 3,000 hits in the major leagues is the first baseman for the St. Louis Cardinals. Here's the first baseman for yes. Mickey Mantle? Oh. Boy, but you don't know about baseball. Stanley Frank Musial. He's known all over the world, has been on the cover of all the magazines. <laughs> Why didn't you guess right. instead of here? Did you know? I can't go home tonight. <laughs> well, you can always oh, go with fine. me. I've got that rope back here. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, you missed but you wind up with $500. That isn't too bad. Congratulations, and thanks Thank for being you. with us. Sorry you didn't win the money.